Hey guys, welcome back to Heavy Metal Horizon and it's Max here, KN6 V&E. So a while back I did a video about my new ham radio setup and talking a little bit about the process I went through you know, to become a new ham radio operator. And one of the things I sort of glossed over in that video was the antenna that I was using. I live in an apartment and so it was a bit of a challenge for me to find an antenna that would work well for my situation. I had a lot of questions on the previous video about the antenna that I was using and so I'm just going to do this video on the antenna solution that I found. So we'll get right into this but real quick guys if you enjoy videos like this checking out cars or airplanes or ham radio gear and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, so the challenge for me is that not only do I live in an apartment, but I don't have a balcony. That's usually one of the first things that people suggest when you tell them, hey, I'm a ham radio operator with an apartment, is they say, hey, you know, mount an antenna on your balcony, but I can't do that because I don't have one. I also can't really drill holes in my exterior walls without pissing off my landlord. So the solution I found is to use a through glass antenna, which is meant to be mounted on a car. The only thing you need to mount one of these antennas is a window. Now I'm shooting this in my living room and the window I used is right behind me. So let's go over there and look at this. Okay guys, so this antenna is mounted right here on the window behind me and it's really small. So I'll, I'll go ahead and show you some close-ups of this. So specifically, this antenna is the TRAM model 1190 through glass mobile antenna. Now you would typically mount this on your car window, maybe like on your back window or something like that. But this has worked great for me for my basic home ham setup. Now there are many really good things about it and there are also a few downsides. To start with, uh, if you're an entry-level ham like me, this is a super affordable antenna. This antenna costs about $30, and that includes the antenna itself, the mounts, and a long coax cable to plug into your radio. Also, this is very easy to mount. Basically, the two halves of the mount, they go on either side of the glass, and they just have like a, an adhesive, right? Like almost like a sticky back tape on either side, and they just stick to the glass. And of course, the other great thing about this antenna is that it works really, really well. Now, this is primarily, you know, it's, it's a VHF primarily for the two meter band antenna, but you can also use it on 70 centimeters, like, a, you know, 440 megahertz, that kind of stuff. And I've used it for both and it works great. Now, I have measured the SWR reading with this antenna. On VHF, on two meters, it's very low. We're talking 1.1, 1 1.2. 1 uh, for the UHF, for the 70 centimeter band, it, it is higher. It doesn't work as well. It's not as efficient, of course, but it's still usable. It's, it was like 1.6, 1.7. So there's a repeater that's about 13 miles away from me. And I talk regularly on that repeater and this is the antenna I'm using. And it works with my, uh, my TYT uh, TH7800, which is my main dual band radio. Uh, it works with that, but even if I have my, my UV5R with uh, the an antenna adapter hooked up, uh, just with this little 5 watt radio, I mean, I can hit that repeater using this antenna. And I live in a very congested area. There's lots of tall buildings around here just mess up my signal. Now, the other thing I should mention about this is that there's a little, uh, like a set screw, uh, there's an adjustment on the antenna. You can tune the antenna a little bit. Um, you know, to find, you know, tune it to the frequency that you're going to be using. Now, in order to tune it, though, to see how it's working, you will need like an SWR meter. This is one of the more affordable ones I could find. Unfortunately, sometimes like a, a good SWR meter can be, can be pretty expensive, but I mean, a lot of ham stuff is expensive. There's a couple other really cool things about it. One is that from the outside, it's very hard to see the antenna. If you know where it is and you're looking for it, then of course you can see it, but it's, it's a very thin antenna. Uh, and it's just, you know, it's not the kind of thing you're going to notice. And the other side of that is, you know, from the inside, uh, you can just unhook the cable and the, the mount itself on the glass is very small. So when you're not using the antenna, you can just unhook it and it's not in the way at all. Okay, now the big downside to this antenna is it is a relatively low power rated antenna. Uh, it 
tops out at 50 watts, so you can't run a real powerful radio or an amplifier or anything like that with this antenna. The other thing is that when you're mounting this, you know, these two halves of the mount are on opposite sides of the glass, and so your signal is actually traveling through the glass. And the key with that is if you have some kind of a film or a coating on your window, which is usually like the, the coating that's used to reduce the glare, that coating can interfere with the signal. So I'll give you a close-up here. Uh, what I did is I mounted this down sort of in the corner of the window, and I actually removed the section of uh, the film or the coating right where I was mounting the antenna, so there's no interference. And as far as actually mounting this, uh, you can simply walk to the outside of your window if you're on the ground floor, or in my case, because I'm not on the ground floor, uh, what I did was I just removed the screen in the window next to it, and I was able to like reach outside with the screen off, mount the antenna on the outside, and then, you know, replace the screen and slide the window closed, and then put the other side of the mount on the inside of the glass, and it was finished. Okay, so obviously this antenna is not going to work if you have some super powerful radio or an amplifier or something like that. But if you have, a, you know, an entry-level sort of beginner's setup like I do, and I really love the setup that I have, and just as a general way to get started without spending very much money, this antenna works great and I totally recommend it. And to be clear, I have no affiliation with any, you know, the antenna company or, or any of these companies and everything. This is just the solution that I found that works really well for me. Okay guys, so let me know what you think about this down in the comments section below. And I'm going to have a link for the antenna uh, and some of my other gear here, like the dual band radio that I use. I'll have links for all that stuff in the video description below. Guys, thanks a ton for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon.